Tonight, the search continues for a third inmate who escaped from the Orangeburg County Jail. He's 20 year old Curtis Green. Green has been on the run since last Saturday night. He made his escape with two other inmates, 25 year old Tyshawn Johnson and 27 year old Christopher Bolton. Johnson was arrested yesterday in North Carolina while Bolton, along with his father, were arrested Sunday in Lexington County. And tonight we're learning other inmates were involved with that escape plan. They're Otis Goodwin, Tykeel Huggins, and Roosevelt Johnson. Charges against those inmates were made today. News 19's Lauren Thomas joins us now live with more on the other arrest and how these men were believed to be involved in the late night escape. Lauren. Yeah, the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Department says that there were multiple inmates involved in the planning and ex execution of this escape, but not all of them made it out. This is not a game. Orangeburg County Sheriff Leroy Ravenel charged three other inmates for helping the escape. They are Roosevelt Johnson, Tykeel Huggins, and Otis Goodwine. Otis Goodwine was one of the main players in um, setting up or planning this escape. Goodwine was believed to have beat up the correctional officer assigned to that part of the detention center. He was charged with two counts of aiding in an escape and one count of assault. Also charged with two counts of aiding in the escape was Roosevelt Johnson. Uh, Mr. Johnson did not assault the officer, but he was the one that distracted the officer and also placed some items in the door where the doors couldn't close so the other inmates that assault the officer could uh, leave the uh, control room. Investigators say Johnson put the entire plan in action by distracting the correctional officer. Another inmate, Tykeel Huggins, was charged with attempted escape, but he did not make it past the barbed wire fence. Rail made it out of the pod, made it out of the, the jail, but he couldn't make it out of the fence. And he couldn't make it out and couldn't get back in because, again, because of the malfunction of the doors. Sheriff Ravenel says Huggins was stuck in between the fence for about two hours. All three men were denied bond today, and the search continues for Curtis Green. Just like I said the other day, if you assist them, I would personally put you in the same cell that they escaped from. Now, the correctional officer who was involved and beat up during this escape, he was in the courtroom today. A victim advocate spoke for him, saying that he did not suffer any serious injuries and that he'll be returning to work, just not in the same area where this escape took place. Reporting live in Orangeburg County, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX.